All right, Mr. Wolf, a.k.a. Wolfchild, can you please tell us a little bit about your Epic 7 history and just you as a player? Uh, sure. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks. First off, thanks, Car, for having me. Uh, great to be here. Um, I am IGN uh, Wolf, as you can see up. Um, I've been playing Epic 7 since the end of the first uh, Seaside Bologna banner. Uh, love the game. Really got into it maybe like a year and a half ago or so. Like learned a bit more and got a little more serious. Um, my favorite unit is Spirit Eye Selene. <laughs> uh, maybe more so for character design over usage. Yeah. But the buffs are kind of nice. So maybe I'll see a little bit more. Um, and uh, this is my first season hitting Legend. This is the first season I really tried. Um, I've been averse to pushing, you know, find opponent for RTA, but I finally kind of got through that with some help with some friends. Um, speaking of which, so my play style, um, I was a subscriber of the Fateless Draft. If you don't know what that is, that's DJ, DJ Bazaar, Para, uh, Spectre, Tenebria, FCC, Briar Witch, Azaria, etc. Um, so very aggressive. Yeah. More, yeah, I would say it's like 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 standard aggro with there is some option to pivot and to cleave. Like some Jacko is going to help that I think now. Yes. Um, but mainly it would be like Ida would be like a pivot option there. Sounds good. All right. Well, Wolf, are you ready to start? Um, just go down the list and then I'll sure. just show the characters, show the stats, and you just talk about how how much they impacted your legend success in the season and any other tips you want to give to the people. But overall, cleave, pivot, aggro, very, very fast. Are we super fast? We're not super fast. Okay. Well, let's we, see. We can, play, we can play, but I don't feel confident in it. <laughs> so. Got it. All right. Well, first up, we got Kisa, and you actually got your uh, Reforge. Epic Reforge piece here, right? 17 speed. I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, run us through the Kisei. Yeah. Um, so the Kisei was a good fourth, fifth pick. Um, she does, my Kisei does an absurd amount of damage. So if I could get her through and actually get her to take her turn, which wasn't always the case, um, she's really strong. Um, I The upgrade was after the season ended because I think that's right around when I collected the piece. But mm -hmm. her stats were pretty similar. This is upgraded. I did some research kind of in prepping for this yeah just using the i and i hope this doesn't come off as potentially thing just using the heroes library to kind of give context this is the fourth highest build score key set in the hero library uh Very the triple nice. hero library okay we like to hear that yeah i like that fourth highest gear not, score not, in the not gear score but build build score build, build score. score okay cool yeah. so how, how often do you pick her um how much did she take part in your success for this legend status uh, a fair amount. I would say like maybe around 10% or so. 10%? Um, the issue would be kind of on their end, if they were too tanky or if they had too many things that could pop her out or control her, if they you know made the correct bands, then she was not as safe to play as versus like Shu or Arya. So that, that was what made it challenging in certain drafts. Like I was like, hmm, I want to use her, but I can't because if she gets popped out of stealth or debuffed, then she's just gonna die right away. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Anything else on the Kisei? Um, love this unit. She does so much damage. It's always it surprises me. Yeah. It always surprises me. <laughs> oh, I know. Like a lot of times, I think you can tank it, and it's just when she gets going, if she's uncontested, it's just too much sometimes. Uh, next up, we got the fire hand guy, Kowarik. Ooh, with the uh, <laughs> with ignition cloth gloves. All right, tell talk to us about the Kek Kekwick. Um, I invest. Obviously, I've invested a lot into this unit's gear. Um, this is also the fourth highest build score cower fire cowork in the hero library. Okay. Um, I think he's also one of the only ones on torrent. That's actually really fast. Um, so I, I lucked out. If you look at the ring, yeah, this is a really nice piece. Congrats on that. <laughs> um, for this kind of build. So, um, he was good, honestly, though, to use him. Uh, he, even with the mage buff, he needed to be like 10 speed faster. Most of the time. So with the um, upcoming uh, frenzy changes, Wolf, are you gonna have to adjust them again, or you think it's okay? I think I'm gonna leave him until I get faster gear for him. Got it. Um, but he would, I think, for me to draft him, I I would want him to be faster. The only time I would be taking him is if they have no opener. Okay. And he's a good unit, like that they can't pop him out of his stealth, or if they're squishy. That's the beautiful thing on the torrent. You just push S three. So there were some matches if I. Speed imprinted, and I outsped with him. I just push S3, and it's a AOE wipe. A lot of damage coming through. Okay. Next up is Pavel. This guy, how, how much play did this guy see? We don't see him too often. Uh, this is, sorry, this is PV. PV, PV okay, so don't need to talk about PV this one too much, right, Wolf? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't have the speed gear. I don't have enough spare speed gear to run him. Okay, let's go next. Let's go next. Thank you, guys. Roy Mustang. Torrance. Okay. Roy, um, Very nice. I want to use this unit so much. Yeah. He was really hard to use. Um, I picked him probably less than 10 times, and I maybe won two of those with him. Uh, he's got really good gear. The issue was more that um, not being on lifesteal, I think to play him really at higher level yeah. for the kind of draft I'm doing, he has to be on lifesteal. Um, and he still has to be on chatty, though. Like, both are, are mandatory. I was about to like, ask you about that. Since you're not on lifesteal, you still like chatty over something like target house? It, it helped me out because people would hit him in between his barrier and FCC barrier and para barrier plus the damage share. Yeah. Him just being on chatty sometimes with just enough hits to to like get to my turn. And then once he's going, he he does so much damage. So But the overall goal would be to shift to lifesteal? Yes, for Working. sure. Okay. 100%. All right. Yeah, these uh speed gamers gotta go into the banshee. All right. <laughs> Wolf, this is a... Uh... Did we use this guy? Speed imprint contest? We did use it as a speed imprint and as a unit. Um, my build is pretty bad damage wise. Um, I'm very disappointed in his damage. So I got to fix him. My goal is to put him on torrent set, torrent offset instead of crit. Mm -hmm. um, even on these stats, if people in the chat think this looks good, he doesn't do enough damage on these stats. Ooh. So he needs better. He yeah, needs tell better. Him. Tell him, Wolf. So, yeah, if you can see the chat, they're saying, how is this bad? So you need even more than this torn set, plus how much more like uh, MCD are we talking? Which is just a Fribbles stat, guys, if anyone YouTube out there. How much more damage do you um, think we need? I can look. I actually have my Fribbles up in the background here because I don't know off, off the dome what his MCD is, but I can just refer to it. Man. So his is... MCD here is 13.2K okay. MCD. In compar like to my Roy, my Roy you just showed is 15K MCD by uh, comparison. So... Um, it just, he doesn't, he doesn't kill. And if he doesn't kill except for squishies, uh -huh. like he kills squishies, fine. but if he doesn't kill a single tank, he doesn't proc his extra attack. Um, yeah, I just, I've found his damage to be insufficient on this build. So I want to adjust it. <laughs> My goodness, man. I'm glad I'm not cleaving. Cause this sounds kind of, that sounds rough. All right. Anything else on the Vildred, uh, Wolf? No, uh, I mean, I mean, he's a good unit overall. I just want to fix oh. his build, fix his gear a bit. Wolf, can away. we take a quick pause? And I wanted to, Careless, what's your gold count right now? And also, Wolf, any reason we're sitting at, you know, just we just want to be in the billionaire club, or what's going on with this <laughs> gold count, man? We got to address the elephant in the room here. Uh, so for my gold count, I I call it from if you go quickly to my hunt oh. and look at my uh, the sanctuary, you look at the reforges. Uh, you want me to go into the hunt hunt page? Uh, no, oh, sorry, the Sanctuary Reforge gear to see, like, the Reforge mats. Sure, sure. I think we can see that through the inventory, too, can't we? But uh, we'll check here. Reforge mats. Oh, my. Shop. Wait, 37,000 <laughs> Manifestation Stones? Guys, I literally have, like, 400 or less. Oh, I would say it's from it's from not getting good, good or usable gear. That's why the gold stacks up. Wolf, what is the <laughs> secret? Uh, do we do a lot of... Um, extra leafs like are we always farming we're always farming yes holy mama well share some with the people brother damn okay guys a billion gold lots of mats he's never running out and you're you're fairly picky with your gear like you're saying right oh yeah i forgot to um, this year or like most oh, no, recently yeah. my standards are like 70 gear score or 18 plus speed i would say okay all right let's get back it's, to the uh, yeah. the list here okay <laughs> damn man that's very impressive okay so uh next up i think was euphine right yes is this a combo with zeo talk talk to us about it yes um supposed to be combo with zeo i did not draft it that much just banking on at 15 percent mm -hmm. was was it's kind of tough um so i didn't i didn't take it too much when i did and i could get it through she works i mean as long as you let you land silent she does plenty of damage this is like just for in terms of people i think they're building her this is just borderline where she's almost too slow to connect though so she's you can't go any lower than this and you probably should be like a few speed faster got it okay um anything else on the you think oh no that's that's strictly what i used her for yep next up is ida no torrent set not not using her too much oh uh, no i used her a lot so she would be my like she would be the pivot unit the most drafted pivot unit. Really? Because when you're when you're drafting DJB para, yeah, 
and like your third, fourth, if they haven't taken anything that contests or cuts you, you just put her as the fifth pick. And some people did let that through, and it was a mistake on their part to do that. So um, let me see what my stats on Ida. She's like top 20 right now in, in terms of build score. She's in the top 20 range. She used to be higher, but I took some gear from her to make my opposite better as my next unit. And so that gear's now on her, so now she's okay. So sounds good guys at, right after we finish the hero list i'll do uh we'll do an ama with wolf so any questions make sure you save them uh wolf anything else on the Eda? oh yeah just uh, uh so you needed the um i'm assuming it, why no torrent if you have it on units that you don't use as often like um which one was it the roy the roy yeah <laughs> you just haven't gone around as, to giving her a torrent set no, not yet. Okay. Um, I think Roy, I don't think he had a crit damage neck torrent either. Got it. You just don't so have the pieces I, yet. I like to keep everything on my account geared. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I just don't have it yet. So it's like I have a list going of, of things for me to work on. And so it's on there. Okay. Sounds good. Next up is Opsig with the Wall of Order. Yes. Okay. So this is high gear investment on her. Um, not torrent. Don't have that yet. But. Um, Usually the issue though is she's almost always a ban, or if not, if somebody drafted a Ravi and you can't really like reliably nuke her out or uh -huh. control her without the guiding light, the target you just nuked out just gets revived back by a Ravi. So that was those were like the kind of two issues. Either she was always banned when I drafted her, or they picked something and I really needed to nuke out the other unit more so than a Ravi and I tried to control a Ravi and didn't always work. So. Okay. And I'm assuming that means then, since you aren't running Guiding Light, you needed the extra damage from Wall of Order in your style? Uh, yes, and I mean also just to, for the self-attack buff, yeah, so yeah. Got it, okay. All right, next up is the, Caesarea. The Wall of Order is oh. so much better now yeah. after the buff, though. If, okay. if people haven't been using it, it procs fairly reliably now. How many y'all got a plus 31 chat? Any... Did you... um? Wolf, whenever a new like limited banner comes out, are you uh, maxing out all the arties? I try to, yes. Damn. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next up is the Caesarea with a max out arty as well. How often did she get picked? Uh, sparingly, it would be if I saw a pivot opportunity and they had like Aiden, like say Aiden, or I don't know why Violet wouldn't be a last pick usually, um, but if for some reason that got through, or if they didn't have a cleanser. Um, my sister, I feel very good about. Um, what did I say about her? No, I don't have any stats on her specifically from the hero library, but no I feel very good about her build. Um, the speed's really good and the effectiveness is really good. Yeah, looks solid. All right. Next up is one of the newer units to come out. We got the Architect Leica. Uh, just another speed issue. Not having enough speed to run her faster. This is a very, very mid architect like a mm -hmm. um i did use her a couple times uh when people didn't draft anything that would be fast or i had something where if they outsped me i had enough things to like still keep her going um but it's just hard for me to use if she wasn't like 320 speed hard to use and i couldn't give the gear to her for that so my goodness <laughs> all right um wolf i might ask you know i'll ask right now Overall thoughts on just fishing for speed gear. A lot of units you're mentioning, you know, you wish they were a little bit faster here and there. You have issues with the speed tuning. As someone who farms this much, man, um, yeah, any overall thoughts on just, like, the speed chase kind of, that, that kind of lifestyle? Brutal. It's brutal. Any tips? <laughs> Quick tips or anything like that? Um, You have to roll everything, like red or purple. Not blue. Don't roll blue, of course. Nothing blue. Nothing more mm -hmm. purple. But you have to roll everything for speed, um, especially speed set, just to try it. Because I some of my fastest speed pieces are purple. Um just a number so that I have seen other counts too where they're where they're cleaving and they're running all speed and it's you gotta roll everything. Um okay. uh, kind of hurts me in a way to do it. Yeah. And farm <laughs> but, a lot, right? And just farm a crap. And farm a lot, yeah. It, but some people I see people who are um not haven't invested quite so much who have pretty fast stuff. And I, I think it's just they're committed to. I, you saw that. I do all the hunts. Yeah. I do all the hunts. So I, I kind of, my philosophy is like, or my kind of strategy is like, I do one until it feels like it's not giving me anything. And then I swap. Yeah, got it. <laughs> so, right. 
Next up is Vivian Wolf. She is PV, PVE only. PVE That's only. Right, yeah. with a time matter. So is it Banshee or something? Banshee, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and okay. uh, Golem, actually. And Both. Golem. Cool. Okay. Strays. I'm, this guy definitely got some use. He did. Um, I think if you have a, another Benny Maros, you'll see who mine's on eventually. Uh -huh. But if you have the attachment for him, that was really strong. Yeah. Uh, the self attack buff. So um, my Strays is, let's see. He's the. He's like mid, is what I said. He's like 12.3 MCD. The highest torrent build is 13.2 in the library. Okay. So this kind of mid range. If part of it is I have, I think I have some EHP subs on this build. Yeah. Um, so that doesn't help it, but they're not worth modding, or I can't mod them. Sure. Because uh, sure. I've already modded another thing. So. So Wolf, you were talking about the Tachi. Um, talk to us about the creation and destruction. Isn't this a? Are you okay with the 20 percent? like um chance at this the rng it's just a fun thing um on this build he kills most of the things that he's supposed to yeah. without the attack buff and without being without putting tachi on him because again you'll see who my tachi is on and it was better on that unit it's on my quiet one um so it was i had him on portrait before and i, I had this art free and i was like why not it's kind of fun okay so, he said it, I'm it all, guys i'm excited to see the Huayang then <laughs> Okay, next up is Bihu. This is an interesting one. Um, some people swear by him, some people really like him, but I, I don't know, as like a, as for your style, Wolf, how did he perform? No. I picked him once, and it didn't work. Just for uh, fun. I thought it would work, because I was like, oh, if I just strip everything, then we're good. And it did not work. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, just quick thoughts of him as a unit, maybe not for your style, or do you think he's just not good in general? I had him picked against me, like, against the draft that I was doing, Several times he did not work, mm -hmm. um, but I think they thought he would work. Shuna was the better and more annoying counter to face um, than he was, mainly because he could also get controlled. Yeah, and I had ways to. Somebody ran him on guiding light. Some ran him on this art or a different art, and it was easy to kill him or control him, so he couldn't do his skills to sure. impact me. All right. <laughs> Next up is Stene Spectre Tenebria with the skin. Thank God. There's a, guys, there's <laughs> been a trend of non-skin users coming out, man, and it's a travesty. I, Go ahead. Uh, I will say, I have two Spectres. Uh -oh. The other one's not finished yet. <laughs> two Spectres? But... Okay. <laughs> and I'm assuming the um, second one, Wolf, is also Max Imprint? She is... I think SS, I want to say. Okay, we'll see, we'll see her when we get to her. We'll see her. She's not here, so she's not here. Oh, okay. She's in the way. In the works. But okay. I was working on her. So then talk to us about the Stenny, and then why you have two in uh, two in the works. What's the different builds going to be? The second Stenny is more for standard play. I think the challenge is like figuring out when to draft them if you're going to draft her early, because she's not usually a late pick. She usually is off the table within the first five or six picks. Somebody's taking her if she's not banned. Um, the thought was that having for more standard play style because i feel like if you see all my units on my account i feel like i need to just learn more to be more flexible mm -hmm. and doing like a lifesteal build because i know that was pretty popular for a more standard play style would be good and so that's the goal for the second one so this one is this was the one that i used and she was a hard carry um i think what i see i looked this up my stene has the the highest mcd in the hero oh no fifth highest fifth sorry highest. fifth highest mcd in the hero library um, she did a lot of damage. Um, so a lot of times in the draft when people would bring a cleanser, like, an, or somebody who's supposed to punish debuffs, yeah. I would just nuke them out with her. Um, yeah. Yeah. That pen set is a lot of times I don't account for the pen set. You just snipe out that unit. It does too much damage. Okay. Anything else on the standing wolf? Uh, I would say, so she was one of the most drafted units for me this season. So. Uh, well, do me a favor. I'm going to put it at the beginning. Um, if you have any like screenshots of your like example drafts, I don't know if you've been playing preseason at all, but uh, show me those yeah. so that uh, I can show them at the beginning. Yeah, if you have a chance. Okay, uh, I, I'll try to dig some up. I don't have any from this season. No. That's okay. That's good. All right. <laughs> Next up is Luna. PV, uh, meant to be PVP. She's in progress. So she, I didn't use her at all. Work in progress. She's, okay. she's not usable like this. She needs a attack for suffering. So. All right. At least she's <laughs> yeah. got gear on. And Friendship 10. I love to see it. Next up is Ran with a plus 30 RNL, Rihanna and Lucella. So, Ran, uh, 
RAN, my RAN is the oh highest DMGS RAN in the Hero Library for for RANs over 300 speed. You said the highest? Uh, over 300? The highest, yes. The highest damage per second RAN in the Hero Library for, for RANs over 300 speed. This helmet it'll is in, like, unethical, man. On Torrent already? 26? Good God. Very <laughs> nice, brother. <laughs> um, I did use him. Um, not critting, even though he's only 8% off and plenty of people are running without max crit mm -hmm. just and so much. It's, it's very tilting, but I, it's hard to do anything with the, the neck that I was talking about, like purple pieces, really good speed. I've had that forever. I've been trying to replace it forever. And it is, it's hard, especially on the right side to get those like very fast pieces, unfortunately. Sure, sure. And we, were just, we just talked about that, right, Wolf? You got to roll the purples as well, and then, uh, you'll upgrade it when you can, but damn. One of the best, chat also agrees, Wolf. One of the best rands they've ever seen. Um, so besides the stats, anything else? Like uh, how often did you pick him? What do you think about him overall? I picked him a, a, a pretty fair amount of time. Uh, his challenge obviously is like, either if you, if you don't outspeed because the imprints mage buff impacting that too, um, or if they pick uh, you know a tanky unit in there, like an A-Ravi, it becomes challenging to pivot with him just because he's so squishy. Um, or like uh, one of the units I hated facing the most, I, I hated facing Savior Aiden. So annoying. Um, and he not doesn't work very well into her because uh, I just get I just miss every time. Get countered. He, he if he didn't have skill, no, he just died. But yeah. So also the other issue too is uh, speed imprints with the CR pushers being earth mostly like sid green sid green vildred and usually those cr pushers would be like flan or amid so like drafting him to counter those kind of cleaves didn't work very well because he if he didn't hit sid or he didn't hit vildred because of miss 50 percent chance mm -hmm. then uh you just you just lose even though you took turn one so yeah got it anything else uh last words on ren um, no, I like Darn now. Darn now's fun. Probably should, <laughs> based on what I just said, I probably should have put him on, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, sword? It's like Symbol of Unity. Oh, Symbol, okay. Yeah, just the, for the hit chance. But... I don't know, man. RNL can be real tilting to fight against. But yeah, some <laughs> people, it's just if you prefer consistency over the uh, RNG, but okay. Uh, next up is the Bryceria, Guiding Light. Yes. The Bryceria was my most picked unit this season. And this is a very unique build. <laughs> um do you notice it's not on speed immunity it's on we're on triple set yeah we got the two 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 set up here you just have enough subs to uh so yeah talk to us about the um the build um so yeah so for reference so she is the eighth highest brazaria in the build uh by build score in the hero library okay so um her damage wise is very comparable to a speed immunity Unless you've got like ultra premium gear, fully optimized for the DPS subs. If you're doing so like an optimal build, I would say on speed immunity would be like 4k attack, 230 speed, 300 crit damage. Pretty hard to get still, actually. Sure. Um, but if you're not above that, my Brazaria does the same damage on triple set. I get the advantage of the... I, I mean, I still have my immunity, I have the torrent. So it just worked out. The effectiveness is nice too. Um, that was what I would say. It came in handy a lot. Um, yeah. cause some units like on my account, how I build a lot of my tanks, um, is just enough F res to resist base effectiveness. A lot of units that's 18. I know there's like a couple where it's higher than that. Um, so her being able to debuff units that are built like that is great. Amen. Guys, real fast, just a minor note. Like obviously for Wolf, one of the, we've seen some insane gear. Very, a lot of it's dedicated to speed, and he's showing us here, right? Not speed set. This kind of just worked out one of the out of the box things. Did you use Fribbles to kind of create this stat line, uh, Wolf, or was this oh. your own sort of deal? Um, it, yes, I used Fribbles to gear my units for sure. Um, okay. so yes, so guys, um, yeah, I just wanted to tell them like if you need help with like Fribbles or the uh equipment, don't lock yourself into the speed set. Sometimes you guys might have some stats that, well, as long as the overall stats, right, Wolf, are where you like it personally as the player, it's not always just speed set or bust, even as a aggro, fast aggro cleaver. So one of the nice examples of thinking a little bit outside the box. Anything else on the Bryce area, brother? Uh, no, and just on that, it was like, it, it's like I, I farm for good pieces or for good gear, mm -hmm. and then I see where they fit. Sure. 
Yeah. So there's there's a lot of gear that's unused and probably I should look at it and toss some stuff, even though it's got good gear score. But for the most part, that's how my approach is. And so for this build, if you just hovered like the neck again, yeah. that's what drove the build essentially was I had that piece. And then I was like, oh, who can I use this on? And then I was like, okay, well, because I mean, it's the same gear score on this, right? Well, it's, um, nice. it's got some effectiveness. Who can use a torrent with effectiveness with DPS subs? Brazaria. And, and then we'll... with that, when I went to the Fribbles and was like, yeah. Okay, so I need immunity. Immunity is super key for RTA on Brazaria. I feel like you have to have it on there. And so I was like, okay, immunity, torrent, what else? And then crit set just works as the, the third set, but yeah. And also the 63 effectiveness can be very annoying occasionally, uh, depending on what you're fighting. Okay, um, next up is the Acid. Whoa, is this, uh, what is this, Wolf? <laughs> I, I don't have the gear for him, so... Uh, for fun? This is an arena, arena unit, I would say. Okay, arena. He just you... him, he follows up when you kill somebody with the Gabby E. So I couldn't use I can't use this in RTA. Okay, so no need to look at the stuff. No need to talk about it too much. No. Okay. No. How about Elegos? Mm, no, <laughs> I couldn't use him. Even when I tried him on Guiding Light, I he's just not fast enough here to okay. use him. Everybody drafted an opener versus me. I don't. I don't I was watching like one of the other account reviews and they're talking about their style and I was like, where were these? Is it because of how I drafted or because yeah. I never felt like I faced those matches. I felt like I was always facing Conqueror first pick True. or um, or Cleave. Like I felt like I rarely faced people who played like true standard. Just felt so rare. And so without him being zooming, not usable. <laughs> okay, okay. Not your cup of tea. The Closer Charles. Uh, I did use him. He's again, he's in that range where he's uh, hard to use. Obviously, he's got purple gear on him, so it's not super high. He doesn't even have pen offset. Mm -hmm. um, I did draft like closer Opsig into LRK, but they would never let both of them through together. So he got very little play as a result of that. Okay. Fair enough. How about the green Sid? Did you use, obviously, as a speed imprint? Um, finds very good damage, too. Um, Obviously, he's not at the opener speed, but I did like using him. I wish he was a little faster. I don't feel on my account I didn't have a need for like a slower high damage. I know some people do that just for the imprint. Mm -hmm. If they're doing like Flan or Aned cleaves with him, I don't feel like I need that on mine. So I would rather have the 300 speed hit. He would have been great, honestly, as a speed imprint who can also like possibly kill with like a soul burn, or I'd probably switch him to Alexis Basket to counter. The flan or the amid uh cleave drafts but no okay. this is how mine is <laughs> got it next up is i just sell there was a window when i tried to do the amid draft with her it's just hard it's hard to get her at the speed to to bridge without her dying so so it didn't get too much play in your uh season push no not in rta uh in arena i use her all the time for fun um for fun. She's a fun unit. She's the only one that I think that gains souls that actually, so, you know, like Bellion with her passive, and if yeah. you use like Luna into it, she doesn't actually get the souls. So her artifact, because of when it procs, you do actually get the souls if you kill Bellion. Okay. Guys, quick yeah. pop quiz for YouTube and the chat. Guys, have we seen a single unit that's not triple S plus max plus 30 artifact? I haven't been paying attention, so I don't know the answer, but I think the answer is no. They've all been maxed out, right? Holy mama, even the collabs, even the... <laughs> All right, Wolf, this is crazy. Okay. The, the, answer, the answer is actually yes, there was one. There was one? There was one. Oh, Chad is saying Lyco, is that, is that it? Yes, that's correct. Good yep. job, Moon. She got it. Okay. Next up uh, is <laughs> Savior Odd and Wolf. Uh, I hate this unit. This is a unit, like what I call like a right side unit. It's a unit that <laughs> when my enemy plays her, she just, she just owns me. More often than than I succeed against her, uh, Brazaria missing with twenty percent, you know, a twenty percent chance to miss her, uh, costing games. Um, her just dodging everything in the world, and then if I put her on my side because I'm like, oh, it's not a bad place to use her, uh, she just dies instantly, doesn't yeah. do anything. That's so, just evasion in a nutshell. But um, <laughs> so based on that, you didn't pick her too often because of the consistency. Yes, and this is like. There's two units on my account that I regeared multiple, 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 multiple times during the season. So I had her on a tankier build. I had her on a very fast build. I had her on 
Destro. I had her on a bunch of different stuff. This is the most recent rendition. And it was at the end of the season where I would just pick her as uh, a cleave counter, basically. And she still like didn't do enough. And it was like, oh, I was like, I don't know what to do with this unit. Sure. Um, that's why she's on Dreamblade instead of her own art was because I was doing that at the end yeah. uh, as, as just as a cleave counter if they were all squishy. So she just didn't work well for me, unfortunately. Got it. Uh, quick thoughts. You don't spend too long on this, but uh, you, her plus the new Jacko kind of style that people are mixing up. They're doing her plus Jack. I have not seen that yet. Yeah, no. the Zio Jacko. Uh, what is it, guys? Para, Zio, Jacko, Auden. That's kind of... Uh, and usually they first pick uh, this character too. But anyways, let's keep going on, Wolf. Next up, we have the Sylvian. Second plus 30 <laughs> chatty. Yes. Well, so Chatty, in my defense, is a free unit. Is a free artifact. Yeah. You get her the first time, and then you play the side story, and you get it again. So fair enough, brother. <laughs> um, some, some of my guys didn't have it though, and I was like, "What were you doing?" It? Uh, this is revenge set. Uh, this is so I looked. Uh, she is well less than 0.7 percent of builds are like this in the hero library. I don't know if that means anything because you could slap random sets together, but I didn't find other revenge set. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've seen um, one, so tell us about it. So, it worked. There's times when I wish I had lifesteal, but there was times when just purely being on the revenge that helped me win. Because if you look at her kit, she's one of the few units I think that can actually use it. Because she's got the 70%, Chatty gets her a little more survivability. She's got a speed buff on her S1. Um, so basically, if you guys in chat don't know how the revenge that works, you get you get gradual speed scaling. It's like 25, 50, 75 percent. It, it says it with the thing, um, but she gets a huge speed boost when she's low, and if that gets her to like the next X, S3, that's huge. So, yeah. Okay, very interesting tech here, man. You really do farm all the hunts, man. That's crazy. <laughs> all right, your favorite I, unit is I, up I, next. I think I would take her to to uh, now. This I do have two of, and they are both geared. Um, this is the one I tried to use during the season. I haven't tweaked her. Uh, this the this is from KJ. Basically, I'll say I just took this build from him. Okay. And made one because I had the pieces. I got the ring. I didn't know who to use on, for instance. Um, yeah, and just to say, anyone that's missed it, this is a hundred and sixty-three effective effect resist build, guys. So let me show the stats now. So uh, the, the, how did how did you yeah. say this didn't work out too well, Wolf? Didn't work out too well because maybe she will now. She didn't heal enough um, to carry to solo carry. Because we're sacrificing yeah. a lot of damage because of the the massive amounts of F res, and then we're not on life steal. But you're saying with the recent balance patch, she got an increase. People were saying though it's only like five percent, guys. Is that true? Like five percent increased on the health regain. But um, yeah, I, I'm eager to hear. Hopefully, get some testing in and see if this works out better post buff. I think the greater impact would be the guaranteed proc. The nimble blade, sure. So that, yeah, so, but again, yeah, I'd have to test it. Okay. Interesting build. All right. Um, anything else on the Selene? Uh, no, and, and I have another one. So I never picked the other one. This is the one I did try to draft. It just it didn't end up working out. And usually it's because she didn't heal enough. Uh, was, to, you know. Wolf, was KJ also using armament? I don't was this remember. Your own, was this your own tech? Not sure. That's my own tech on the art. Okay. I'm not sure what he's using, to be honest. Yeah. I think it'd be really nice now, though. Get her to full crit. Uh, drop the f res, maybe get a little more damage. But like, if she doesn't have enough f res, you would even say, look at, at this, like she doesn't have enough. Because units that are meant to debuff are going to debuff. But eh, I wouldn't go any lower, honestly. Um, but maybe drop, trying to figure out how I can tweak it to get her on the ran art because i think that's pretty cool on a fast selene now okay. ran's artifact sounds good all right next up is uh melissa uh not used anywhere really right now oh, I, I don't think she's like tuned for it but i don't do it so um yeah okay just showing the stats super fast and then move on to i'm curious what you're gonna say about this character judge kisei um, I think I tried here. There's a couple of units that I think I literally drafted like one time because I saw the opportunity. I don't remember if it worked. Um, because she's not screaming fast again. She doesn't have any way to protect herself necessarily if she doesn't take turn one. And she doesn't, on this build, she's not doing any damage, really. It's like no damage. Um, so kind of in a weird place, but... Mm. 
if there, there's enough impact with just getting the reset off on a really slow team, sometimes that's enough. So I think I think I maybe drafted her like one time this season. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Senya up next. Uh, my Senya needs tweaking. Um, it just didn't work enough. Maybe it was I didn't know how to draft her properly, but she didn't feel like she had enough impact in the times I took her. So as the more aggressive usually player, are you picking her as an anchor or are you like sometimes you're being the, um, you're letting them have the speed and you're trying to tank them down essentially? I found more success by tanking down instead of trying to draft, draft for draft. I found that didn't work very well for me, honestly. So I, I would pick her sometimes as a tank down, especially if they pick like Aiden um, or if somehow their draft had like Stene or it was like all squishies. And I would pick her, and she's, she didn't do enough. Gotcha. Yeah, I think if you were trying her, like, that's why I was asking. If you're doing her more, like, the tank down style, definitely probably need more attack, a little more bulk, and then lifesteal, I think, would be the way. Since you are in Banshee, too, maybe you can make that happen. But uh, I've, okay. seen, I've, seen the, I've seen the Banshee. I've seen a couple of the Banshee builds, and I, I think it looks really good. Yeah, yeah, I think it makes more sense. And then you would just, you'd be able to commit to putting her on the Gabby at that point. Exactly. So, All right. Yeah. Next up, we got the Cavill. Oh, guys, our first kind of uh, wolf. Finally, we saw a plus 15, an extra guiding light here. <laughs> Not that it really yeah, matters for him, though. but yeah. Talk to uh, about the Cavill. I prioritized having um, more guiding light copies versus a second max one. So um, he is the second highest MCD Pavel on Torrent in the Hero Library. There's right. one that had a little more than that. So. So very, very uh, high gear, but like, uh, how often did you use him in the in the season? For this season, RTA, not often. I used him, I know I said this is the first time I could play seriously. I did play before though. So I used him more previous season, uh, last season. Um, this season, it just didn't, it felt difficult to pick windows to draft him. And sometimes I honestly would mess up my draft and I didn't pick like two units that could reliably- Set him up. Uh, yeah. And so they banned one and then I was like, oh, all right, well, <laughs> I messed that up. Um, I use him all the time in arena. Uh, he's you know super good for uh, regular arena. Um, but this season RTA, no, pretty pretty sparingly, I would say. Okay, yeah. I imagine you're gonna say the same thing for the next character, Silverblade Araminta on Knowledge Seed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't use her. I too many people draft Mediator. Too many people draft Ed. Uh, Delibet versus the draft that I used. Yeah. So she just, she's not a unit that I could pick uh, in there. I think it's a certain style Then people make the correct pre-bands that make this kind of unit know, usable. Um, I put it on fun stuff. <laughs> More for fun. And a whole yeah, for fun. Is this a second Celine we're looking at here, uh, Wolf? This, yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, tell us about this one. So this is the first Celine that I had, and this is the more conventional one. It's just, she. this is like good damage and everything. She's just really hard to use. Uh, again, Conqueror, Mediator, units like that don't crit reliably, units that can control her. Um, and at this speed, even with the Sword Art, for how I drafted, it would be honestly hard to get her to a turn. If she got to a turn, push S3, win, pretty much. That's what it felt like. But yeah. it would be so hard to get her to that. Sure, sure. She's still like, if you're not going for that kind of build you were showing earlier with a crazy amount of Efrez, very much a fifth pick unit when your opponent, you know, sets up a draft where they, she's going to shine. And then at that point, she might get banned, right? But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there a third one? Someone in chat saying there's a third no, one. No okay. Third one. <laughs> they're trolling. They're trolling. All right. Fireball, yeah, I'm assuming um, Expo? Yeah, with the Yeah, PVE. Okay. For, uh, for Expos. Yeah. And then PV as well for Haste? Or did we actually uh, use yeah. Two Arena. Regular Arena. 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 Okay. He's fun. Regularly, yeah. Uh, anything you want to talk about real quick for him or no? No, I, I liked when they buffed him. Um, if you could run him over 300 speed, usable. But if you can't, then yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Next up is the A Raz. Used him a lot more last season. I don't think I used him that much this season. I don't really recall him doing it. Okay. Just better knights, better units that. Like Sylvan Sage or like Shu units that have like some way to protect themselves by some means. Sure. So didn't really end up picking him. How about the Pirate Flan? Always banned. I didn't get to actually play her. 
She'd always get banned I, I out. Always banned out every single time I drafted her. And I did draft her. I felt like I drafted her maybe a dozen or so times every single time banned. So. Well, um, so you can't give too many comments on how she performed, but that's a good thing, right? As a must ban unit, the rest of your units go through. Uh, any thoughts on your build or any, did she ever get through any quick comments on the gameplay? No, she, uh, I used her in like a regular arena for fun. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I couldn't get her through an RTA. It, but it, it was a good unit as a force ban, like you said. Right. Um, if people were drafting, so like one of the times I'd use her, it's like sometimes I'd see like, oh, this person's doing like this weird F res draft. And I didn't pick necessarily the best, like, first couple units to deal with that. And I don't think I had enough aggro to get through it. I, I pick her because she's got 200 effectiveness. As, and then she gets banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes <laughs> but sense. The, the thought would be if they let her through, that I could deal with the, the high effort stuff. All right. Next up is Rimuru. Ooh, attack set. Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird to get him on this speed on attack set, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When you show the subs, chat won't be happy about this one. I know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the what's going on with the build? How often do we use them? We use them as a life counter. Uh, that's so that's pretty much the only time he came out. I don't play him normally. Um, <laughs> he he they would play around him was the issue. So they would just hold skills, and it, it depended on how the rest of my draft was set up. If I could expose Landy and get to her then good if i couldn't expose her then they would just keep holding their skills so that was that was the issue but in theory issues he's at the right speed to be a uh the like a landy or the like a counter the like a draft counter yeah. sure got it well speaking of holding skills next up is celine green celine green celine oh uh, this is also like i like both of the celines as units i used her uh, I use her in a lot of content. RTA, uh, I think my build's too slow, is what I would say. Um, because, again, just like as I was saying for Rimuru, they hold skills until she dies. So I think I think a little faster would be uh, appropriate. I just didn't get to there. I think it would be hard to do while maintaining a triple set. But yeah, I was about to if I get the right too. pieces, if I get the right pieces, I'll make the change. I just have to get them. Okay. Work in progress. Mill him up next. Ooh, Knuckles. Wait, Unity Knuckles? What is happening here? Oh my <laughs> Double god. Double Unity Knuckles. <laughs> All right. Wolf, explain this one, please. Um, I did use her. Um, again, this is like, a, for me, it's a right side unit. Yeah. Although I don't feel as much anger or dislike towards her as I do to some of the other units that I consider right side units. Um... She did get me some wins, um, <laughs> but like when I play her and, and I'll stream and my friends will watch me stream and they're like, dude, like you're in double unity and you've got her art and they're missing. She's not countering, she's not dual attacking. And then you single target attack and you get countered by the entire other team like that. So <laughs> interesting. Though. Um, but fun again, this was more with standard in mind, I think. So I actually can run if I had Molas to do it. And that I could commit to it, I could run three millims. Wow. <laughs> are they uh, all imprinted or just this was the main? They are imprinted, yes. You have three so, triple S millims. One's SS, one is SS. One so, is a, oh, excuse uh, me, excuse me. Two triple S and one oh, SS. That was in pursuit of that artifact right there. The Knuckles? That was what it, that's what it was that's what it took to get that artifact to plus thirty. Oh my god, I, I would swap you I had too many knuckles and uh I needed more mills. <laughs> Jesus. All right, man. Well I can't wait to, is there gonna be another one that we're gonna look at? There is another one that okay. is here in geared. Uh it doesn't have any bullets on it. Uh to answer the question, there's a chat question I saw. This is a four thirty one gear score from this millum. All right. Well, I'm eager to hear your thoughts on the LPK last piece, Corinne. Um, she does good damage. Um I I can't I haven't used her because she came in after the season like right 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 at the end of it, she wasn't a unit you know, we could use um, I've used her in arena um, people are really weird in regular arena so people made their maidens like ultra ultra thick that she won't kill uh, I don't think I'll encounter that so much in RTA but right now I can't use her obviously she's not fast enough um, but I am not looking forward to fighting her even though I don't pick Aiden because um, I've seen some of the damage showcases for her and the scene is be really good um so i'm not looking forward to fighting her 
Okay. <laughs> How about Tehu? Uh, Tehu is a tech counter. Specifically uh, for people who did like Carmen made Aria drafts. Yeah, players like me. Just... Just very good. <laughs> well, very if, good. if you get him through and they don't recognize, if they don't realize what he does and they don't ban him or they don't ban your other things, usually he doesn't get banned. When they push their skills, you push yours and then they're done. They're just like sitting there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, we're not going to explain the full work workaround of Tayu, but exactly that kind of draft, which was more popular before, like this latest craze with LRK, Last Rider Crowd. But yeah, he he counters a specific style very, very uh, hard. It's almost a guaranteed. Actually, I would say it's a guaranteed win, right? If he gets through, if you're built him properly against the 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 made Carmen drafts because of how he works. Um, next up is a Hawk, Mr. Wolf. The Hawk, um, fun. I wish just like the fire power. I wish he was like ten speed faster. Um, Usable, uh, if they pick like Conqueror sometimes, and depending on like what their, the rest of their draft was, the biggest issue for him is if they did like hand guy or they had some kind of strip, so they could strip him and then target him to get rid of that invulnerability after his S3. Um, but if they didn't, he was good as like a secondary cleanser because if I'm doing DJ Bazaar and I have him, like now I have two cleansers for a unit getting debuffed. Um, also being very fast and does a lot of damage. Um, his boots are terrible, but the rest of the gear on him is pretty good. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I think I die a little inside when you say, like, I wish he was a little better because these are kind of crazy. Um, anything else on Zahawk, Wolf? Uh, also, like, this last Guild War season, I haven't talked about that. Um, for the context on that, I've been in six Hall of Fame guilds, like top three, um, mainly the same ones multiple times. This last season for Guild War was my most used unit by far. Uh, he is, what is he, 119 base speed. So he's not that hard to get very fast. And because he's got the 50% crit chance, mm -hmm. he um, is very easy to build in that regard. So, like, you could just get damage because you get tat and use a lot more pieces than you could use for other units. So he works really, really well. Sure. So just a plug for that. Okay. How about the Wanda? on the uh, uh i think i missed picture once uh and she didn't work another 222 <laughs> build okay so not more for fun tried it out didn't really work too well for you okay no it didn't work it didn't work the one time i, I accidentally picked her instead of another unit Got it. <laughs> how about the mercedes Is this guild wars mostly um not really using any content actually um oh. yeah no i didn't end up using her at all i think she needs immunity i would say is one thing and then just not, I, I I don't feel good about the, the right side, left side RNG stuff. Mm, so sure. counter set on, there's a few units that I use that actually did their stuff. A lot of times it just make me mauled. So I don't play that way when I can avoid it. All right. Uh, Watcher Shuri. Uh, this is, this should be my PVP Watcher. Speed Imprint. Torrent's really nice on him. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, really all I have to say about him. Okay. Um, how often did you pick him? For just as a speed imprint. So wow. if I was racing, uh, I would pick him as a speed imprint. So. Okay. Well, the, I think the stat line is very nice. I'm not a Watcher Tree player, guys. Is this a very good stat line on Torrent? I think it is. Okay. Uh, Fire Aramintha. Um, so I picked her once, and she like wrecked my opponent. It was it was very fun. Somebody did like Shroon as a counter and they let her through and I had Green Celine and I S2 to S3 and landed everything. He couldn't push with Shroon because it would have, my like, Celine would have just killed his team. So it was, she worked. I only drafted her one time this season. I have drafted her more previously. Uh, I think it's like, she's right around a good build to punish certain drafts, but very specific, very niche, but um, fun unit. Honestly. And has a 100% win rate for you. 100% win rate, one of one, yeah. All right, how about Astromancer Elena on the Bihu Arty? Yes, I'm very proud of this unit. Okay, talk um, to us about it. I'm still should work on her more. This is the highest, she's not on Torn Onset. This is the highest MCD Astromancer in the build library. Okay. Um, that does factor in the Rage set bonus, yes. But if you think about how we play her, almost every opener debuffs that pushes that activates her mm -hmm. so it activates the rage set the artifact is just mainly because of a because i use her in arena so 
like the value, the other artifact that people will put on her, which is the flans artifact. You don't get the souls. Yeah, it's the same CR push. Um, and the burn is nice for units like Savior Aiden. Um, it connects her, so she's at the right speed here to to push all the way up to the 315 units, etc. Um, so she does bridge completely. Um, I wish Torrent, because Torrent would be a nice little extra damage bonus, but you have to get like the perfect pieces for it. Um, but I like this unit. Um, some people would would ban, and I think they felt confident that I didn't have enough damage, yeah. and I would cleave them with her as the only DKS. I, I could totally picture <laughs> yeah. that with his, with his stats. All right, very nice, Astro Master Lena. Okay, Politis up next. Um, people made fun of me. This is not the Politis I had during the season. People made fun of my Politis for being like a like a build. I think she was immunity, two hundred speed, some bulk, some crit damage, low a lot. Uh, lower effectiveness than this and no apparatus and people were like oh what kind of politics is this you're not you're not picking a lane you're not going anywhere so i figured your eyes some if you look at like the neck like who does that go on <laughs> uh yeah maybe besides politics i don't know maybe some weird dps solitaria who knows that's kind of nice though yeah so i tried it um i haven't tried an rta obviously because of that um i don't like facing this unit a lot it's one of the units i don't like facing um, but I'm looking forward to trying this new build out at least. Yeah, um, it seems like see. um, you're going for everything kind of build, right? Enough Efrez. We have the crown for DJN, but we're also pushing some damage here. All right. Interesting. <laughs> Let us know how that goes. How about the Urvalin? Uh, Not used. I, I think he's one of the units that needs, he needs buffs to be more usable. If people are drafting him successfully, congrats. You, you're bigger brain than me. I can't make it worse. <laughs> okay. Well then let's skip him and move on to Zio. Um Zio, another in a different way. I think it was just not knowing like when to draft him well. He was used against me a lot um with good success. And when I used him, I felt like it it did not work very well. Um the, I ran him on book during the season. Now that it's off season I've been playing, I've been doing arena with and using him. I, I threw him on uh that art instead, but I did have him on book for the most part. Got it. Okay. Uh, PV, I'm assuming on the Helga. What about Ludwig? Yep. Ludwig. Again, tuned, but not used. Not so, used too much? Damn. Yeah, you can too, skip too, too, him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ram, Ram, same idea, not used, <laughs> but I don't use her for expos anymore. Yeah. Green Sid works better, so someday maybe I can use her. Right. <laughs> I like the six piece torrent. Uh, Shepard, SC, Jenna? Uh, this was geared after the season, so not used. Not used yet, okay. We're cooking, but not... It didn't result in our legend success. How about the RB? RB got picked a few times. This is the highest MCD RB in the Builds for a Library. Okay. Um, he never dabbed on Revive, but I did win with him. Just by virtue of him doing a ton of damage. So, uh, very few drafts, but... He, he, there were sometimes reward. The problem with it was that I picked Brazil, like I said, Brazaria was my most drafted. Yeah. I, I can't take him too, because if they don't ban Brazaria, then I'm doing something really silly there. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> did you get a few wins? Arunka, she now, she didn't have buffs when you were playing the season, but did you play her? So not usable last season. Yeah. So, just not usable last season, but I'm looking forward to, to her now. Um, I'm still working on her. I think she needs over 7k attack. This is a nice build. 30 Little Queen's Huge Crown. Okay. Well, I'm sure this thing is going to wreck, but he's a 7k attack, guys. Okay. Sorry, we're going. Sermia. PVE. Uh, All the Okay. Looks good. Bloodblade Karin. Karen? <laughs> I, think we, I think it's Karin. That's how they pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, they right? say Karin, but my chat still likes to say Karen. So, uh, <laughs> Revenge set. Interesting. Any play in the season? Um, she does not work very well on this. I would lean toward a triple resville base speed. Um, it just, it doesn't, having her like push up to cut doesn't help. Um, so it was a concept because again, I was trying to figure out where to use gear. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't work. Okay. This, this build doesn't work. This is a copium. We were Don't do this. Got it. <laughs> hey, at least he's honest, guys. Uh, <laughs> PVE right here. Last Rider Crow. Oh, on Justice for All? What is this? <laughs> what an um <laughs> it's fine on him i didn't think mine was tanky enough to run him on aureus also i don't have enough aureuses for all my knights that have aureus mm -hmm. um so 
I also don't have enough adamant shields, so I just picked one on him that seemed okay. Um, it it's it's fine actually. It gives him nice buffs for the most part. You didn't I did not. Um... Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Finish your thought. No, nope, that was it. Yeah. Okay. I think there's a lot of other options, but hey, if you have a plus thirty justice for all and you liked it, sure. Okay. Um, did you? How often did you pick this guy? Sparingly into drafts that like he looked good into essentially. Um, he worked for the most part pretty well. The issue was I faced a Robbie a ton, yeah. and he's not great into her if, unless I got something else that's going to punish the a Robbie, um, which would be hard to rely on depending on like how many picks I have up. So he couldn't bank on that. Okay. Um, so like a few times, like my opponent took Stene, and I could run AOE. I banned AOL. Was always a pre band AOL Lula are my pre bands. Uh, just units I don't like fighting. Yeah, <laughs> um, very. No good. one likes fighting. <laughs> No kidding. Uh, ROL <laughs> up next. Here's one of your adamants. Ooh, what yeah. is this? Four uh, piece health arena, arena unit. Arena unit? Okay. Arena unit. I never feel comfortable playing uh, that play style. So I know she was really good for people. Um, that's why she's so slow, too, honestly. It was just maxing. She's just sitting there on arena, arena. defense. Okay. Fair enough. The pair, though, I know you use this one a lot. I did. <laughs> Um, and people who face me have definitely been tilted by the RNLs. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, my para, let's see. I think my para was like the highest effectiveness of paras over 310. Like, I, I couldn't come up with a good, like, concise stat for it, but like, with a certain bulk at a certain speed, she was the highest effectiveness for that fight. I believe um, it. Yeah. Yeah, if she's under a certain number of certain bulk, even though I was drafting mostly DJ Bizarre and Para, right? Then Barrier Inversion would just one shot her. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a Para that won't die to Barrier Inversion. Gives her a little survival. I wish her defense was a little higher. I think I have some attack subs, but it's hard to be picky when every piece has to be twenty plus. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, enough to start survive the Barrier Inversion. Above 310 speed and still a lot of effectiveness. Probably one of the highest effectiveness you said you think at above 310, right? With with the bulk. Because the there's bulk. some people that have really squishy ones that I saw in there that have like 200 effectiveness, but okay. they've got no EHP. So. Got it. Uh, Sage Ball and Sezin up next on the Bastion of Hope. Yeah. Um, Zeo counter. Um, people would draft Zeo and Amid together, which then like he doesn't have enough effectiveness to debuff Amid. So I would sleep and then Amid would go and then wake up the unit that like he wanted to push anyway. So it it harder to use this season based on how people who drafted Cleave successfully into me drafted. Yeah. I did not find him as useful this season as compared to last season, um, when people a lot of people were doing like Zio Yuffie specifically, um, and then having this much effort has helped a lot. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, Chloe, PVE? Yeah. Uh, PVP. PVP. Uh, PVE, PVE, sorry. Yeah. All right. Remnant Vile, I'm assuming you're going to say something about right side, is more of a right side unit? Yeah. Yes. Um, he's definitely won, he won games for me, though. Um, when, when he does the things that only he can do. But I find that it's more often not in my favor. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Just showing the stats real fast. And then next up is the Inos 2.0. Oh. Stop drafting her? I don't think I actually did at any point. I don't think she has enough effect res on this build. I know she gets the buffs, so she's over 200. But I think that's not quite enough because everyone seemed to run Conquer on Circus Fantasia at the end. Yeah. Like every single one was on Circus Fantasia. Um, so I didn't feel com confident drafting her. Okay. So um, I, I used her in Arena, but work in progress. Got it. Uh, Lilka? Interesting. Uh, PV uh, Expo Unit. Expo Unit, okay. A little bit of PVE as well? Uh, no content for her. No content, just liked it. Okay. Maybe AI, I think. AI, yeah. AI unit. There we go. How about the Sez? Any Sez bombing going on? Lifesteal. I used him. I, I picked him once. Uh, they, they, they debuffed him, and then he didn't get to go to his turn. But he was a good... There was like one draft. I was like, oh, Sez is perfect here. Let's pick him. And he didn't get to go. So that was unfortunate. Um, but no, I haven't, I haven't used him really. Okay. Uh, Kawana, I think we're getting through some that we can skip, right? Kawana, Leo, any use for Leo? No. 
How about the corn? Yeah, but I like really wanted to use. She just doesn't have enough. She doesn't have enough bulk. Okay. To use her. Fair enough. Corvus, any play? Force ban, basically. Last um, pick. Yeah. Yeah, last pick and force ban, and if they were silly enough to let him through, without and they didn't have injury, like, yeah, we won. <laughs> yeah. I like this build. He actually dedicated some good gear to him. Okay. Um, Destina. So a unit that I don't draft. So yeah. <laughs> you don't draft her, but the stat line looks solid. Just, just not a a play style that I have. I've learned enough of. So I hope to. Um, with more experience, I have all the tanks and stuff built, um, but I just didn't draft it. I don't have enough experience there. Okay. Uh, Mui. Mui, a unit I'd like to use, but no. Uh, same issues, too slow. She's She'd be hard to get fast, too. She doesn't have Guiding Light as a warrior. Um, the AoEs with... Is the S3 uncounterable now? I can't remember. Uh, doesn't look like it. So then, like, having an AoE that can be countered, you just can't punish so hard right now. Sure. So, yeah. Okay. AOL, though, you said you pre banned this unit? Yep, I pre banned this unit. I hate playing her. She never works when I play her. My AOL during the season was D Gen. So, this is not the build. She might have like 150 F res and 100 effectiveness or something like that. Okay. Around 240 speed and very tanky. Yeah. Just, but just a unit I don't like playing and I don't feel good drafting. So, amen. Uh, Rickerous PVE? Uh, PVE, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cerise, Cerise PVE. PVE yep. Yeah. Kawana. Okay, I think we can skip through. How about Tempest Surin? Any play? Uh, I don't think I drafted her. Oh. Um, yeah, no, so she didn't get any play. No her gear's not that great. Yeah. Crozet, maybe? More last season. I adjusted his build this season thinking I would try to use him, and then I didn't. So, um, no, he didn't get play. Fair enough. Fair. What about uh, Tenny? Fair tale, Tenebria. <laughs> she was the, the few times I tried to sneak this in, she got banned. Okay. So <laughs> you actually went for some damage on Rage set, huh? Is this a common build, guys? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at here, but uh, how did so it, you never got to actually play it? Always got banned. It always got banned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll show the stats real fast in case anyone wants to see it super quickly. Throws it pretty good, I think, this season. Yeah, but it's not his style. Uh, I, I would guess. Um, how about Wander Silk? Speed and Print, anything else? Speed and Print, yep. Okay. Speed and Print. I usually, in my drafts, like, she always got to take my opponent before I can get her, so, but, yeah. Sure. Solitaria. Um, this is a new build. Oh, this is the new this build. This is a new build. I'm looking forward to using it. Um, I need to tweak some. I need to do some mods. Maybe get rid of some of the crit chance, I think. Um... I am looking forward to using it, though. There were some matches where I was like, man, if my Sally was on injury, this would be different right now. Um, so she was, during the season, she was 20k HP, about the same defense, about the same speed, 120 Afras, and 100 and about the same effectiveness. So she was just like a full DJ in solitary. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that, I was talking about that neck earlier. Remember on the, um, who's it on? It was on the Bryceria? You had like a crit. Oh yeah, yet oh it was torn. It was torn. Okay, yeah, there was a neck that kind of maybe I feel like if you're going injured. But anyways, so you're gonna try this out. Haven't tried it out yet. Um, I, I have seen someone try it out, and the damage. I don't think they said it was worth it, but hopefully your results are better. Um, Pillis, anything on Pillis? You have a lot of revenge sets, man. Uh, this is a new build. Uh, I did not pick her for RTA. I okay. use her for arena for the war. So sure. Uh, how about Red Lilius? Uh, Red Lilius, I did not dive into feeling like I could let Lua through because so if they held, if they just hold the skills, then I was hurting once again. So, <laughs> um, but the gear kind of fit her, uh, so I put her on it. Yeah, yeah. I like the stat line. Um, winter. Picked sparingly. If I had to let, if somebody picked Pirate Flan early, and she worked. Um, as a counter, because Pirate Flan on her S1, if she's buffed, right, she does uh, every two turns, she does a non attack skill. So she worked. But usually it would be like, I didn't even get to get to her. Mm -hmm. It would be like, if they propped her, they would just top right. Okay. So. <laughs> Sparingly, but when it works, it works. Crow. Uh, Guild Wars, probably? Guild War, yeah. Okay. No, he's not on very good gear, so. Same thing with the Doris, Clarissa PVE. Hey, Shuna, you mentioned okay. earlier. Did you, did you actually draft her? 
Uh, I used her once and I did not succeed. Very different build compared to now. I had her on a barrier set, protection set, I should say. Um, okay. So this is changed to hopefully be more usable. Um, I I haven't used her this season, obviously, but this is a new build for her. So hoping it'll work. I, I think usually she's like 230 speed or more. So she's a little faster, but um, I got very good f on her. So Okay. I think people are excited to see this walk coming over. Next up is Flan. First off, with the Unseen Observer, <laughs> uh, Arena, and barely even there. I don't have the uh, the Sea Lilius uh, cleave tuned well, so um, she's just waiting until I get more speed gear. Okay, so that way. God, yeah. I'll show the stats real fast, and then let's show this Hua Young. One of your guildmates has, has been hyping this up, Wolf. All right, here we go on the Benny Maru's Tachi plus thirty, triple S. Um, oh my this was a labor goodness. of love to get this build, yes. <laughs> um, you'll see the gear, so in conceptually, when you're building her, and you'll see like the Afras, right? It's like, why is he on Afras? Yeah. Well, so for a unit like Poyon, you don't want any HP. Yeah, my man. That leaves you with ball, attack. Oh, Sorry, defense. pause real fast. <laughs> you kind of welcome on in, brother. Sorry, there was an alert going on. Please continue. Uh, if you can pick off where you uh, a sentence ago. For people that maybe oh, didn't. Sure. <laughs> um, so what I was saying is like, when, if you're looking at it, it's like, why she's better as, and I was saying that, well, if you're looking at building Hua, she doesn't want any HP. Uh -huh. So she just wants attack, defense, and speed, right? Yeah. So on every piece that you're gearing her for, there's at least one, if not two, and I think even one piece there has like three dead subs, technically. So what do you use? How do you make use of that? Put her in Ephraim as the other sub. So okay. that's what I did. Oh um, God. <laughs> I'm a fan. I think Chad's a fan. How often did you use her though? And how how was her success? She I used her a lot on the last two days, actually. Um some people on the last they drafted like Alencia as a counter. Um for because she does work really well into the para draft because uh -huh. of the strips. And so just nuke her out. <laughs> um so that's that's how that worked um or like she isn't even too bad because she's got so much defense with the mitigation and the refreshing barriers with like if you have like fcc um like i could use her if like ed was there too she didn't feel hurt too much by it okay. um so good her damage is really good um you know i could nuke out to stina with this if i had a tap buff even with mitigation um if that was a difference making play so uh, she worked well. Yeah, I imagine um, there's yeah. a, there's not a lot you're not killing. You're, I think you're also converting a lot of uh, people into Katie's wolf. <laughs> <laughs> she needs so they they over they definitely overdid the nerfs. the like the changes to her. I think they need to give her back the same cooldown. Now that she doesn't have the CR push, give her back the one less turn on the cooldown on the S three, and then I think she's fair and balanced. Because right now it's it does feel like she gets up an attack off and then. Her impact is nothing sure, until she sure. gets her at three again. Chat, yeah. agree, disagree, YouTube. All right. Uh, let's move on to the Faithless Lydica Wolf. Um, I just try to keep her fast with the crit um, and the effectiveness. Didn't use her, didn't draft her too many times. Yep. Because um, she did not fit well into my draft. So. Okay. Not a personal preference. So you, she wasn't really for you. I, yeah, not a personal preference. I think I, I'd be more than happy to use her, especially like as a, a Zeo counter. I would have preferred her on immunity for like a as like a like a counter. Okay. Um, but I didn't have I didn't have the gears to put her on there, and it was like very towards the end of the season that I thought about it, and I'm like, uh, I'm too far in. I don't want to change anything right now. So. Fair enough. Uh, next up is Kron on the Decrescent. <clears throat> so he was my most drafted Cleave counter unit. Um, when he works, he worked amazingly well. A uh, couple issues I found. So I tuned him. You're like, look at if you look at his armor, it's got a ton of defense percent on it. Yeah. Um, I tuned him so that like my Ryan can't proc him because if you soul burn Ryan, right, you hit, you strip, and then he's just dead. But I found that if people ran put Ryan on sort of Summer Twilight, they would still proc him anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so that that didn't work out. As intended i can't make him more bulky than this it just just won't work right um but when he was there i i wish i could share there's like one video i could share there's a really fun cleave anti-cleave draft i did um so i can share that with you yes yeah, it over it. and uh, i'll try to edit in if you remind me okay um yeah because that it was a really fun one with him 
Um, but he, I had some success with him. The, the times he would fail would be into the Flannery Amy Cleaves where he just didn't counter at all. Yeah. Um, which is that left hand, right side thing. Sure, you know, sure. He's on counter, he's got the crescent, but if he doesn't counter. <laughs> yeah, he's just sitting yeah. there. He's asleep. All right. Uh, Luo, you pre banned, so I'm assuming you didn't really play her? Correct. Yep. Okay. Uh, how about the hand guy, Coeric? Um, I, if somebody wanted to snipe my draft, and I needed cleanser. I picked him, <laughs> but that was that was it pretty much. Um, didn't pick him too much. His gear is severely lacking. Sure, um, it's quite bad. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah. But he's a backup <laughs> unit that you just needed if uh, if they were trying to your draft, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. If they took, if they might see, he's got. But that's the lowest gear score piece on my account is on him. Is Those it the boots. boots. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Leica, you talked about a lot of anti Leica counters that you kind of have ready, but did you use her yourself? twice like very very few okay um and it would just be like if i looked at my opponent's draft and i'm like oh if i if i have her through and i sleep everyone because i don't these are units that need not use animity they didn't put a cleanser then i could take her i'm not like it's not very good she's on kind of spare gear um so um didn't use her really that much just a couple times so. got it uh tywin recently buffed did not use him in RTA. I use him in arena all the time. Very fun for that because there's so much arrow while on defense. So, got it. All right. Um, Carmen Rose PVE. PVE. Yep. Karina though counter set ER. Stat line is uh very solid. <laughs> um, I used her. Uh, there was times when I didn't like her as the best option because uh, people would hard focus her almost every time. I I think that was a feature of me not drafting well more than anything though gear gear is good there um on her um i hated facing her last season so much that i'm i pre-banned her at the end yeah you're um <laughs> you're dude your banshee gear your your like bruiser tank down gear is crazy it's better than most of us dedicated banshee mains right guys i'm jealous um uh, so you said you didn't uh you started a banner or uh she didn't work too well for you you said last season i banned her Last season. This season it. I didn't, but this season I I would pick her, but she didn't work. She didn't necessarily nearly necessarily work as well as I would have hoped. Okay. That way. Sure. Uh carrot any use? Haven't really seen her too no, well. There's a counter no, carrot. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh how about maid? I'm guessing not really your style. No, not my style. Okay. So there. Yeah. Uh Carmen, Crimson Army? Not my style. And Carmen yeah. I would say is one of my Worst, worst geared tanks, I would say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about the D Lilibet designer Lily? Um, designer Lilibet was picked into me so much. I didn't get that many opportunities to pick her. Um, I put a lot to get this gear in the stat line. Obviously, the weapon needs improvement, but um, otherwise, her gear is pretty good. Um, just didn't get to uh, <laughs> didn't get to use her that much. So that's a shame because yeah, you did dedicate a lot of gear to her. Okay. Um, cigarette PVE, Iseria, anything for draft? I'm assuming no PVE. PVE, PVE yeah. Benny, any use in RTA? I did. Um, I tried the fast build, and I just didn't feel like it did enough. Also, I took him off his own arc because I I tried that as well. Um, uh -huh. I feel like people would always hold skills slam Farina when I would take him as a counter to like Conqueror was usually the main one. Um, or other units that had two turns. Um, this kind of worked. It would be, it was highly dependent on counter procking. It yeah. did proc a decent amount of times. Um, I know I had some where people focused. I think I had a match where somebody like A Rob S3 him and he didn't die. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's because A Rob was scuffed or because <laughs> I don't think this is that bulky all that really. Um, but that one. So. I like the build. Um, I use it in arena. Missing the attack is kind of hurts, like the attack buff from his own art. But Sigurd's obviously for the sustainability of doing a build like this. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, I tried this one out too. If you get one counter, right? We have enough fighting spirit to do the S three into the uh, health flare. Okay. Anything else on Benny? Um, I wish he had something. I just wish he had something in his kit for survivability. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Uh, Dn. <laughs> uh, didn't use her. Um. Just didn't, didn't didn't fit in my draft really, so didn't, I didn't have anything here. I'm assuming the same for Ruel and Ray coming up. Uh, Ruel, yes, Ray. I never drafted Ruel. Ray, I think I probably drafted once. 
for when they like pre banned one of the cleansers and took the other one. Um, he did not work, so I think it's too slow was the issue. Uh, <laughs> and he still got debuffed, if I remember correctly. He still got debuffed. Got so it. that was the issue. <laughs> how, about, how about Spez? Um, Spez, not, not like when I'm picking Briseria so much, it just didn't make sense. Sure. Um, conceptually, I like this though. You like the idea of it? <laughs> Cool. Yeah, you want to hit stun. I'll the rage set so fast. gives him a big damage bonus. Yeah. All right. Next up is Bazaar. I'm assuming we skip that, or is it actually usable? Um, I, use them. I haven't used them. No, just this, this so oh, protection set. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about HP for protection set. It's just weird, it's random stuff. All right. How about the Edward injury? The injury build was a change after the season. So my build during the season, I do have it uh, up on my triple still um was destruction pen yeah uh dude these injury pieces are cracked they're really good oh my god this ed is really crazy damn this is the highest gear score unit on my account so you saw the ring the ring was min rolled max rolled so he's 462 gear score oh my god so if it was max is 460 what is he right now for 458 458 okay wow jeez um injury ed is nice because it's it gives you some play into like a Robbie, I would say. Uh, he's probably this is like a little squishy, but I mean, for the gear store, I can't really complain where the stats are coming. It makes sense still, sure, sure. Um, Cedum Torrent set didn't, didn't get her. No. very weird build, did not draft her. Yeah, well, I see this ER. All right, do you want to talk about it real fast or just move on, move along? Just it's a it's a thought, but it's not one that I've tried. Okay, <laughs> it's still in the prize, we're still cooking. Uh, Elena. <laughs> Standard, I would say. Um, did not draft her that much. People don't. The people who cleave me successfully didn't do a lot of AOE cleaves, I found. Sure. Mostly like single target stuff. So. Okay. How about, the, uh, the most dangerous cleaves were always like like Flan, Venid. I didn't find the other cleaves to be so dangerous to deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about DD Ray? Um, DD Ray, just hard to draft because people always slam me. Uh, Mediator. Um, I think this season may be more playable because the buff to Sharon is huge. And she's the next one here. So probably more playable. Um, I use him in Arena all the time. He is so fun uh, for that. To just injure the for Ray, yeah, the protection set, you like that? I do. Um, I don't feel his speed's that bad at this speed. He's got the effectiveness I want, the FS I want. The bulk is there. Um, it's not? just kind of like a little extra thing. That's all. Sure. So, okay. Yeah. Next up is Sharoon. You said this one just got buff. Have you been playing her at all? In arena. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing if I can use her in RTA. I'm gonna adjust her build. I don't think she needs this much Efres. Um, I'll get her down to like 120, and then dump more into effectiveness, so she doesn't need to be drafted alongside Death Dealer Ray, who gives her the effectiveness buff. Got it. So that she's a little more self-sufficient. Um, I think like the set I have her on her is BIS. I would say best in slot. The, this counter um, set. Plus and the, Unity. <laughs> say that again? It's she's the Unity offset, so. Oh, and Unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because her, her skill one is so powerful. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. Very nice. So, uh, I just her. That's all. A lot of out of turn uh, S1s flying out. Arya up next here on the Scroll of Shadows. Um, that art got me in trouble sometimes. Uh,. <laughs> Because it would debuff Ed, and then Ed would counter, and then, um, and then expose somebody who was in stealth or strip stealth. So sometimes it got me in trouble because of that. Okay. Um, the art is really nice for the damage bonus and the potential for the death break, though. Because um, that's it's one of the ways to like help kill a Ravi if using her. I had mixed success using her. Basically, if my opponent could debuff her reliably, I was dead. Sure. She's just too slow here to like that. So. Got it. Yeah, seems like that. You just that's mostly the Arya issues from everybody, regardless of your build. Um, Tywin. Um, I didn't draft him that much. I, other than not having an Aureus, I think I kind of went to where everyone where everyone was going with him for the most part. Um, just didn't fit my draft very well, so he didn't get drafted uh, very much. Okay, showing the stats super fast, and this is the second strays. Not molded yet, though. This is uh, Banshee, or sorry, uh, one shotting for PVE hunts. Yes, yes. Um, so, in, in just a quick comment on that, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing Katie's to build the Wyvern one shot because you need the the double, triple torrent sets 
for strays and watch our sherry. Yeah. So I'm doing that right now. So I'm farming cages right now to do that. And then I'll go back to Wyvern and hopefully improve some of the speed gear I was complaining about. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Yulha. Um, I love this unit. Uh, I used her a lot more in Guild War than in RTA. I did a couple times pick her. I really like this build on her. Yeah, it looks good. Um, when she works, she works very, very well. Um, didn't fit my draft too much, but I did take her. Uh, mainly, I would say, is a cleave counter. was the most often use. Okay. Uh, Fallen Cecilia. Ooh, 2-2-2 two, two, two build. This is to what you said earlier. So, um, like, look at your gear and see, like, right in Fribbles, how you can use it. Yeah. Uh, I did an account purge, like, a month before the season ended of dumping bad gear. And bad gear works very well on a unit like FCC because the flat HP gets so little gear score value, but it's how you get her to the really high um, yeah, well, HP. Pretty much and so I, <laughs> I dumped all of that. So when I was going through Fribbles trying to find builds, this is, uh, this is what I could come up with that kind of met the stat line that I needed. Um, and it just happened to be triple set. This is like a 450 gear score FCC, but some of it's fake because she's got some crit, right? And she's got some effectiveness, so. Okay. Uh, Apoc Ravi on the plus 30 Simsara. Um, I've changed her build a couple times. So I tried counter. Um, I didn't counter enough for to add utility. So this is a newer build. I didn't get to draft her so much because my opponent drafted her almost all of the time. I okay. think this is probably the unit I played against the most. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Well, I like the stats. It's an interesting take with the Simsara, but it makes sense. We still have some damage reduction, and your damage should be very high here. Uh, Mursa? Uh, not used. Okay. Silius. I think you talked about her a few times. You said you yours isn't ready to go? No, I used, so I used her, but towards the end of the season, um, my win rate, drafting her first. So, basically, the idea was... Uh, and this is, I think this is supposed to be like very tax plays and I'm sure other people play it too. It was like, you either take her or you ban her. Yeah. And I found that my success rate with picking mine wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. So, and I also found that so there was a certain draft that I would do that people would pick it. They would draft against it the same way. And I think the second last day when I was going on a run, I faced the same exact draft five times in a row. All with the same same outcome. I won them all because they. I don't know where they got this. Like we got to pick these units in this order as yeah. a counter. This it didn't work. Um, so she was in that. So by letting them pick her, if I could get my draft through, I had success. Put it that way. All right. Um, well, if you have a screenshot of, I don't know if you saved any, if you were a streamer or anything, but if you have that, I'd like to see the uh, that kind of comp. Everyone was copy pasting that you destroyed. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, Amid up next. I'm in, I'm just a little too slow. Um, I got her faster. I tried using her um, with the Conqueror, like her and Conqueror, like one, two picks to, to play more aggro, uh -huh. like more aggressively. But people who knew what they were doing would pick like Zio or um, Para, actually, because then I wasn't drafting Para, and Para is a good counter to those two. Um, so usually against people who knew what they were doing, didn't have good success with her, didn't draft her too much. But there were some stretches where I was trying her, and if I got my stuff through, obviously, you know, she can do a lot of damage with the pushes and such. Wolf, I just swapped it to self-imprint for the uh, account review, as some of the chat is saying, just to, you know, show off more stats. But don't forget to swap it back, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else on Amid? Uh, no, it, again, like I said... Uh, for just in terms of overall people who uh, drafted her, like her and Flame Cleave were the, the ones that I found most successful that I was fighting against. Yeah. Got it. Uh, we have a second Spez here. My God, man. Oh, you, uh, when you changed the uh, self imprint, it pushed my aim in way up. Oh, all okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, is that actually what? It... You're right. You're right. Okay. I was about to say, wait. Wendy, even look what you did, man. All right. Where were we? We were at the Silius Sinji, right? I think was next. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, this is my PVP Sinji. I think I drafted her once. Yeah. I think she's at a good speed and effort to be usable. It's just if you don't take her right away, 
she becomes a, a dead slot because then you run out of DPS to go with her or you run or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do. Like if, you, if you open with like two support units and then you pick her, now what are you left with? Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. I think let's start, Wolf, let's start lightning rounding a few of these and then on ones you really want to talk about, just let me know. But I think a lot of these now are probably ones you don't use too often. Ken, any? Correct. Yeah. Until, uh, yes, yes, yeah. So he's not going to use... Ning Ning, and Ning, Ning Ning, I grabbed it once, uh, didn't work. <laughs> okay. How about Christy? Uh, Guild War, Guild War unit. Guild War unit. Riza? Uh, Any... PV, uh, Banshee. Banshee. One shot. Right. Yep. Tenebria, interesting build. Unity counter, you like that set? I got that from, uh, from Jello, was the, where the you build comes that? from. But sure, sure. No, I, it, I can't play her. So uh, you don't counter, she doesn't really. She doesn't have enough effectiveness on her own turn on this build yeah. to really do much. So it's a very specific build and it doesn't work for me. <laughs> okay. How about the uh, Holiday Euphine? Um, AI unit. Uh, too slow to use for this. I saw some people draft her like pretty fast as a counter to my draft. Mm -hmm. um, but mine, no. She might be making a splash this current meta too, Wolf. People are talking about it. But... Next up is this unit. I think you said you were using him quite a bit. The Parrot plus DJB? Yes. Um, my history with this unit. So I, this was like me like learning the game. <laughs> when Dizzy was out, before he came out, like I felt like I never took turns when I was fighting Dizzy. And then he came out and changed everything. So I used him a lot. Um, then and now, um, obviously with the draft, um, his... He's on release right now, but his Efrez is pretty good with the immunity check too, because um, everyone's Conqueror is on Circus Fantasia. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's not enough really, but it worked more often than it did not um, in terms of him resisting. Because um, in some of those drafts, if if the Conqueror doesn't provoke him, he just win. It's just it's over at that point. So, yeah. um, the immunity, you're like, why not do Efrez a bit more? Preferize the immunity is a fifteen percent check. It's 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 nice. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Shu. Uh, Shu got picked a lot as an anchor um, for the draft because you needed to do the Stene DJ Bizarre Para. All of your units have to take hits. Yeah. Um, who are out of stealth? So she was a really good, especially because people would do Mediator, A Ravi, Ed, Delibet. So she was a good unit that could take hits and like be okay. Because she's got the healing, she's got the anti crit. Um, so she worked. Obviously, there's sometimes where you maul where she doesn't counter, um, <laughs> but g good unit um, to have. And it was like critical for that draft, I would say, okay. to have her. So very she was less, yeah. Very important for you. Uh, talk to us real fast about the pen set. Did you like it? A lot of people say it doesn't add enough to justify over something like immunity. Heard that too. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers. Uh, somebody could probably show me it. I, I do pay attention. Like I'm, I'm not closed minded about that stuff. So if somebody showed it to me, then I would totally make the change. It's just how I have, I've had her. So yeah. Hey, if it works, don't don't fix what's not broke, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Flurry. Anything? Skip. Uh, skip. I picked her once by accident. They hard focused her, even though her gear is not for PvP. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I guess uh, they perceive her as a threat. <laughs> uh, uh, Lencia? Yeah. Um, didn't doesn't work super well in my draft, but did get hit sometimes. I love the injury on her. Um, I love the pen on her. Um, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of injury sets. All right, so it works. It didn't work too well in draft, but you know, yeah, at least you have one ready, and sometimes it it came out. Correct. Yep. Got it. How about the eighty Meru? Eighty Meru again for me, right side unit. Fair just enough. I would take her and she would disappoint me. Counter set, what counter set? Uh, <laughs> very tilted. So one of the units that tilted me the the most. To use, Which is why I'm surprised you like the the shoe. But uh, <laughs> I, I think shoe has a little bit more um, more chances. But anyways, the fire CC anything? Uh, expo unit. Expo yeah. unit. Is this the second one that's in process of getting built? Right. In process. So the gears on her, the molars are missing. Wait, oh, you want... This is actually supposed to be Injury Millum? Yes. Okay, t tell us about this real fast. Oh, my God. For more, I would say it's more for standard. Um, she needs the bulk, obviously. Obviously, it's to get into her S3. I think she has enough bulk to live to her S3 on standard. 
Um, the problem is, is I think her artifact is the best for this build, but I want it on the other build, so I, I'm trying to figure that out. The build and is the enough. Third build, yeah, sorry, sorry. Continue. Uh, as someone that uses Milim in this exact style, not the injury, but as a, I have almost the same stat line bulk wise. As long as you bring Mitt and you're not fighting something like Kisei, yeah, you'll live easily. Mm, gotcha. Well, that's good to know because so, I haven't trusted her. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were about to say something about I think the skill three or. Oh, I just so like these two. I kind of want her both on her artifact, and then the third Milim, if I ever get to building that one, would be the speed pen on book. <laughs> a third, one, the one that and that sniped the target. That one's double S, so you have a triple, two triple S, double S, and you want so many more knuckles, huh? My God, man! <laughs> All right, uh, unit anything? Counter unity mm, on drink no. looks fun. No, no. okay. Not used. Not used. Moon bunny. Um, guild war unit. Guild war. How about the lionheart? I so I did pick her. Um, I had a very different lionheart before. Faster, more. I don't want to say more damage. I think it was about the same damage, but a lot faster. Um, I changed her, kind of got her to the more conventional build. This is my third highest gear score unit. I was going to say. She's got 90% attack, so nice. that takes that, but she's 450 or so. Um, but just had some challenges with using her. Uh, save your Aiden, strip stunning her, provokes. Uh, just I found her harder to use than I would have liked. So, I think that's... I don't have... That's everybody's you need experience, yeah. She's I don't know if you need effect res on her, if that even helps or not. Um, I mean, unless you are able to like stack a maid Chloe, probably not on top of that. Mm. Maybe just for Stenny stun, that's about it. Um, Tama, anything? Uh, PvP, uh, PvE unit, PvE, PvE unit, yeah. Uh, Ilinov, PvE, or did you actually use her? I did use her and she disappointed me, it was a sad thing. <laughs> I, think I think you mentioned <laughs> that a few times on other units. Okay, uh, anything you want to say about her? Not really. Um, I don't know if she if she would counter. She was there were so many drafts this season that she was perfect to do. What they did with her with the buffs is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, if she doesn't counter, that <laughs> um, yeah. Fair. So. Okay. Rowana, I don't think we need to talk about her, right? Rowana thinks very nice health. Abigail, quick thoughts. Revenge set pen. Work in progress. Uh, looking forward to trying her. She's fun. Uh. I would I would recommend pulling her if you can if you haven't yet. She's fun the passive and the the uh, injury and stuff. I think her kit's pretty pretty nice how they designed it. So I'm looking forward to trying her. I think I need to be probably 220 speed. Um, how much I've also damage? Seen oh, sorry to interrupt, Wolf. But how much damage does this do? I'm curious. I without attack buff, like somewhere from like eight to twelve k, depending on how tanky the unit you're hitting is. Yeah. For the S3, the S1, I couldn't tell you. Okay. So. That still seems pretty nice. You dedicated a lot to uh, damage with the plus 30 artifact, plus 304 crit damage and pen set. Okay, it's an interesting build for sure. Anything else on Abigail or ready to move so, on? Um, I've seen a second build and I have a second build for her, yeah. um, but it's not, I don't have the gear for it yet, but I've seen her as like a cleave counter with just a lot of Afrez. Yeah, more bulk um, Afrez. Sure, yeah, sure. I've seen that build, and I have a second Abigail. I don't feel like it takes any molas to do that. Um, yes, so very I'm, true. I'm totally up to build that once I get the gear for it. No yeah. crit, no mola, just all bulk Efrez. Uh, Kawazu, anything? Uh, Guild War unit. Guild War. E I hate this unit. Anyone, if anyone in town listens in the chat, they all know that I hate this unit because they they abuse him in Guild War so much. Got <laughs> it. That's a little Guild War <laughs> action. Uh, Eaten on protection. Very nice. Hand. Uh, anti unit. Uh, he worked great. Uh, I think immunity is necessary though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Interesting. We so, uh, fun thing about him. Um, we did the fribbles optimizer just to play with like what are the high ends of every stat you can do for units. Uh huh. So, per current gearing, the match you can get eaten on triple HP set is fifty four k HP. <laughs> On protection set is 51k HP, just for everyone's reference. Got it. <laughs> I need this um, build, Wolf. You gotta help <laughs> me up with this protection set, man. Holy crap. Uh, you're, were you gonna say something else about him? Oh, I was gonna say, to, to get that max, for him especially, what you're looking for is actually HP flat on the right side and max rolling the percent sub. Okay. There you go, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, Shuri, we're skipping through these. Penelope, 
Shuri, speed imprint. Yeah, it's good. Um, and how be not using any content? ML Ken? Um, Anything? I no, I didn't pick him. Okay. I don't think he's. I think mine's too squishy too. But second Sinji uh, no. for PVE. Yes. Uh, Violet, any use? Violet, I think um, for where his utility is, I also think he needs immunity offset instead of pen um, for flam, and then he can be a pretty decent unit. I also think skew more towards HP. This is about a 445 gear score build. So this is also one of the highest on my accounts, but I don't think, even though the stats look okay, I think for the current meta or, or how you competed, it would have been better. Um, just a little adjusted more HP and uh, immunity offset instead of pen. Got it. Uh, Suthan. PV, PVE. PVE. The Little Queen Charlotte just got buffed. On Revenge set. <laughs> Looking forward to trying this. Um, if not, I'll go back to the conventional triple set for her. But I want to give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Let us know how that works out. The Great Mortelix. Uh, I used him, and he disappointed me every time. Uh, <laughs> he was on Albris during the Season 2. I, I took my Albris and gave it to someone else. And he was faster. So I took a piece from him, so now he's below 200 speed. The issues were never countered. Never proc his passive because he didn't counter, so he didn't S1 crit somebody. He's not going to proc his passive anti crit. So I picked him where he thought he would work and he was useless to me because he didn't do his things. Okay. <laughs> All right. Summer Break Charlotte. Um, this still, what I tested her in Arena, she's too bulky. She needs more damage. More damage. Yeah. Do you expect to use her in the upcoming season? Does she fit your style? I I, I want to try her, um, but I don't know. I did pick her this season. Uh, she got banned, I want to say, like 80% of the time. I think I did win a game with her getting through. Um, so there's like very select opportunities in my how I draft where she was a good unit and she worked. So. Okay. Uh, Hazel, I'm assuming PVE. Same thing with Haze until sure. he gets some buffs. Any use? He kind of dedicated some... Ooh, like a little bruiser haste here with counter. This is this is this is it's terrible. Just, uh, okay. He had the lower, he had the lowest gear score on my count. So when I purged all the gear, oh, I got rid of all of it, and I just wanted to see him with gear on him. So I just started giving him stuff. Fair enough. Bad cat. Um, I will, well, you got to give me one of these protection sets, man. You have so many. Just give me one <laughs> decent one. I wanted to, to to try it, but didn't use it. So. Okay. <laughs> TSAP Bologna, injury? What was this for? Didn't didn't get to use it. Didn't use so. it. All right. Uh, okay, I think we've... Some units are not having gear. Just stop me. I'm going to run through Dominial. Anything? How many are you? you so, use, okay, talk to us about it. There's some you. interesting tech um, here. I'm going to ask my guild really quick. Can someone send like the video that I want to share? Yeah, Demon, I think I'm going to hit up Golem, guys. Look how much... Well, he also has a lot of... Um, He's got Banshee gear. He's got the Katie's gear. This guy just farms literally nonstop. Like, I think this review is the only time he's not farming. Is that right, Wolf? You're taking a little <laughs> break. Look, he's even used some energy for today. That's reasonable. I don't farm overnight either. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, no overnight, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for those follows, guys. I turned off alerts just temporarily. Uh, Golem didn't get a buff, per se. Uh, but, guys, let's wrap up this YouTube review. Um um because we are going a little long on time not to rush you or anything wolf but chat stick around we'll do a quick ama is there any other units you want to shout out for the youtube uh viewers out there uh landy real fast uh, <laughs> any use uh shout out, i guess shout out to my guild um i am back in abandoned we're now a fun guild we're not competitive uh it's like a fun retirement hold for a lot of people who have been competitive and uh, in guild war i should say um and are just looking to hang out and still enjoying e7 so shout out to them shout out to uh them. oh wolf i wasn't, out, I wasn't saying to wrap up the the boards here just is there any other units real fast and then i'll let you do your outro any other units you, oh. you want to talk about real quick that i missed sure um so the you can show i the the landy i mentioned savior aiden i changed four times i changed this landy four times i cannot use her she never works for me i'm still trying to fix her build okay. to make her usable um chaos set i used him a couple times yeah um Ooh. he is really funny if they pick all light it doesn't matter if they pick injury, if they pick LRK, like you'd think he'd be bad. He's not, he actually works, but he cannot kill anything except like, uh, at least on this build. Fair <laughs> enough. I lost to Adilabet. Like I like 1v3 and I lost to Adilabet when it got to 1v1. 
Yeah, that's how you um, it. maybe doesn't. <laughs> Anything not light. <laughs> uh, injury Bellion just looks like a standard. Very nice build here. Uh, this is 445 guild score. Uh, gear score on her. Jeez, yeah. okay. Um, can you use him? Somebody used Peacemaker pretty well against me one time. <laughs> but I haven't used him. Just trying them out. You have so many units that you're going to try out or just... They have like all this gear ready. You're just still testing them out. Oh, little. Uh, did we talk about Lone Crescent Bologna? We didn't. Um, I made me picture a couple times. I feel like she got banned most of the time. I think she only got through one time and she worked really well. Yeah. for where it was just doesn't work so well in the draft you don't find her yeah. a little bit too squishy on these stats i've changed her build since the end of the season um and i agree i think she needs to be back to 1500 defense with oh. the same hp where my build here right now has got too much speed i think yeah so okay i was uh, just improving her gear score is what i was doing Got it. Uh, we have a second Bellion ready to go on just the counter zero speed build, 30k health. My goodness. I expect yes. that there's a lot of secondary units that were kind of, you know, hovering over here. Uh, MLK um, Ron, anything, Wolf? No. <laughs> no. He needs. I'm working on him, and I believe in him. Yeah. He just needs, like, ultra premium gear. Well, if there was someone that could make him work with ultra premium gear, I think it's you. So please come back when you uh, test that out, okay? <laughs> sure. Um, um Jacko. Jacko, just missing the pieces uh one of the pieces is just on a unit for hunt right now yeah. but i am missing one for her so um i will finish her the goal is rage set rage pen 220 speed or so and that's it yeah all right now i think we're ready wolf you want to do some quick outros i'll link the youtube twitch chat sticker on youtube uh check him out i'll have all this stuff to his channel and everything but uh yeah go ahead wolf uh, well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so the shout out, I give a shout out to Bannon. Uh, I want to shout out uh, Faintless for helping me a lot this season, like teaching me how to play RTA essentially. Uh, Fumbles as well uh, was uh, in the grind with me. So when we were grinding um, up, we would take turns streaming and helping each other out. So big shout out to both of them. Shout out to my guildmates for their support. Um, shout out to everyone who uh, took the time to uh, enjoy this shout out to you car for having me uh, appreciate it yeah shout out to the <laughs> people that were hanging in with this review well first off always a pleasure amazing review man you were a great guest i think a lot of us are surprised with how crazy could have been one of the i mean we haven't done too many like insane gear score counts lately no offense to any of the recent reviews but they've all hit legend with lesser gear your your count is stacked brother i think this is the most triple s and uh max imprint artifacts max since like jinte review right guys so Thank you for coming on. We'll have to do a follow-up or something later, and you'll have to report back with all the results. But uh, Twitch chat, stick around. YouTube, we'll check you out later. Wolf, let's say bye to YouTube. Peace out, guys. All right. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>